Do you know someone with hearing loss? Well, in this video, I'm talking about sensory neural hearing loss in the inner ear. Coming up. Hi, I'm Dr. Derek, audiologist, audio engineer, and musician with ProfitHearing.com, bringing you the best insight in today's latest hearing aids and audio technology to improve your life. If you have concerns about your hearing, always consult with your local physician or audiologist. Please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon for notifications if you enjoy this video. Welcome to Question of the Day Friday, where I answer your hearing healthcare and audio technology question. What is sensory neural hearing loss? Today, I'm talking about sensory neural hearing loss in the inner ear. There are three parts of the ear, the external, middle, and inner ear. There's also three types of hearing loss, conductive, sensory neural, and mixed. Sound is collected by the external ear, sent down the ear canal to the middle ear where the eardrum and ear bones are located, and then this sound energy is transferred into the inner ear. The inner ear includes the cochlea and semicircular canals. The cochlea contains our hearing sensory cells, and the semicircular canals contain our balance sensory cells. The inner ear contains fluid that moves in response to sound. This fluid movement activates our hearing sensory cells, called hair cells, which send signals up the auditory nerve to the brain. Once that signal is received by the auditory cortex in the brain, we perceive sound. So up to this point, I've discussed how the ear works normally, but what happens if we have sensory neural hearing loss? Sensory neural hearing loss occurs in the inner ear, and it's permanent. It can be caused by damage to the hair cells inside the cochlea, or by damage to the auditory nerve. Sensory neural hearing loss may be the result of gradual hearing loss due to aging, also known as presbycusis, genetic abnormalities, ototoxic medications, noise exposure, an auditory nerve tumor, illness or disease affecting the inner ear, head trauma, or congenital causes. Sensory neural hearing loss often appears in the high frequency sounds first. This makes words sound like they're garbled or reduced in clarity. Hearing aid use is the only way to provide more clarity, but it's important to know that hearing aids only aid our hearing. They cannot fix our hearing, and they cannot restore our hearing fully. In cases of more severe hearing loss, hearing aids may not provide enough benefit, so a cochlear implant can be considered. Cochlear implants stimulate the auditory nerve with electrical impulses that the brain interprets as sound. This direct connection to the nerve bypasses the damaged part of the ear altogether and sends the signal up to the brain. Remember, sensory neural hearing loss is permanent. Avoid excessively loud noise and music because this can damage your ears. Or at least use hearing protection when you're in those loud situations. So for today's question, what one thing did you learn about hearing loss or the ear that surprised you the most? I'd love to know your thoughts, so please comment below. What other video topics do you want to see? Let's connect in the comments. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you receive value from this video, please like it, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. Check out the notes in the description below for more information and connect with ProFit Hearing on social media. Be a part of the ProFit Hearing community. If you or someone you know is interested in hearing aids, click on the link in the description below for my free ebook, How to Buy Hearing Aids. Know what to ask your audiologist or hearing aid dispenser so that your hearing aids are easy to use and have all the features you're looking for. Remember, ProFit Hearing brings you the best insight in today's latest hearing aids and audio technology to improve your life. If you have concerns about your hearing, always consult with your local physician or audiologist. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.